Hi guys, Danny here again, doing another how-to video for you. Well, I've got some energy, thanks to this. Good stuff. Today's video is going to be about the Hamburg Matten filters. I'm sure you all know what they are, what they do, how you make them. But I just basically wanted to cover a video on the subject about how we do it here and about some of the issues that we found along the way and some of the different ways that we've experimented with. Now, especially with us being in the UK, I mean, if, if any of you watching are from the likes of America, um, you might be able to find this sponge absolutely everywhere in many um, different sort of sizes. But definitely here in the UK, finding a, a good size sheet, very hard. Um, from the websites I found, you were looking at 18 inch long by 12 inch wide sheets for about seven, eight pounds a sheet without shipping. So I remembered about a website that I bookmarked months ago, um, aquaristic.net. It's a German run company, I think. Um, it's a bit tricky navigating the website, obviously, because it's all in their language and not ours. Um, and even when you run it through the likes of Google Translate, it only transfers off of it. But once you get your bearings, it's quite easy. Now, these sell big sheets um, in a variety of thicknesses, from 3cm right up to 7cm thick. Um, they do either... 100 centimetre long by 50 centimetre wide sheets or they do 100 centimetre long by 100 centimetre wide sheets excellent price um, I think I paid around £27 with delivery for a 100 centimetre squared sheet of inch thick sponge that was if I remember correctly, it was 20 ppi, so quite ideal for this sort of job. This is what it looks like, obviously in a, in a much bigger sheet. And again, they do um, a variety of thicknesses, they do a variety of ppi's. So when we next order sponge, we're going to want something a bit finer, so something like the 30 ppi we want. Many uses for the sponge, you can cut it and use it for Hamburg Matten filters, you could use it for sponge filters, you could use it as tank dividers, um, which we've also done and found it slots in nicely if you cut it a few mil too wide and it does stay up without the need of anything to keep it upright. So on the whole, I rate this sponge very high, both cost effective, easy to cut, easy to handle, and there's so many different uses for it. But today, I'm talking about the Hamburg Matten filter use for this sponge. So what you want to do is, you want to get your aquarium, so for the purpose of this video, I've got a tiny tank, which is this little tank it's uh, 12 inch long six inch wide seven inch tall perfect breathing tank for the likes of your small fish so danios tetra that sort of thing once you've got your tank what you want to do is you want to grab your sponge and wherever you want the matten filter to sit there's two ways of doing this i'll show you both slot in your sponge i'll just grab the camera Slot in your sponge, just like so. And what you want to do is, where the top of the aquarium is, put the sponge all the way across. And then, I won't do this because this is um, a filter cut the size of a previous tank that we've done. But, once you've cut it, excuse me, take it back out. Put this to one side 
And this is method one of doing it. I'll just turn the camera around. Sorry guys. Method one is take a glass strip. You give or take, you want it around three inch wide. And you want to cut it to the full height of the aquarium. So you want it to come about there. And then you simply run a silicone bead along one of the longest sides. Before doing this, sorry I should have mentioned this first, before doing your glass strip, you want to measure how wide you want the mat and filter to be. So let's say for this tank we want it six inches wide, we'd measure six inch wide, cut the sponge so it was six inches wide. Then we'd silicone our glass strip in at six inch wide. Leave that for 24 hours to set and cure. And then that'll just stay up like that. Once you've done that, you then revert back to your sponge and just give it a little test. See if it slots in nice, doesn't move about too much, no gaps in the sides. <coughs> Once you've done that, take the sponge back out, put the tank to one side, then get yourself some 21 and a half mil overflow waste pipe. I'll just try and pull this off, like so. You'll want a three inch off cut of the same pipe and a 90 degree elbow. Slide your 90 degree elbow over the top like that. Simple. Then, by using any, pretty much any size drill bit here, we've used a three mil HSS drill bit. Make some holes around the bottom, right through and right round. <coughs> and then we've gone for three sets of three holes up the top, like so. And then again, like a previous video we've done, five mil hole in the top for your airline, making sure that the airline sits in tight. have a drink. After you've done this, go back to your sponge and as you're about to find out, I don't write scripts for these videos, I just start up the camera and, and go for it. This is something that you should have done before drilling the pipe. With your elbow on, you need to place it on the sponge to where you want where you want it and you need to cut the pipe an inch or so above the bottom of the sponge and then revert back to the previous part we've just gone through about drilling your pipe then it's real simple guys make a hole in your sponge and then this just slots through like that and slots in to your tank. Now, if you don't want the hassle of using the glass strip, you can just do it like this. Cut the sponge to the length and width of the tank and basically have a huge mat and filter ran up the back of your aquarium. Does the same job, it just takes up a bit more room of the tank, that's all. We actually use these filters in our aquariums, in, in the majority of these aquariums, I might add. So I'll just take you around a few of the tanks so that you can see them in action. So, in this tank, there is one. In that tank is another bigger one. This is in a four foot tank. They work brilliant. Um, these have only been in the tank two weeks, 
and you can see at the bottom there it's starting to collect the good bacteria and then in this tank it, we've done this using the dividing method so no glass strips were put in and that's it guys real simple and another great method of saving yourself a lot of money I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and come back again soon bye guys